So Water Lab is an interactive um, experience for visitors coming into surface tension so they can take part and uh, look at demonstrations as well of all tests about water so say the constituents the contaminants in water pollutants and also just the, uh, the various uh, looking at the various properties of water as well so what we have here is just a simple house plant and then on this side of the leaf we've got a bit of cobalt chloride paper and when that reacts with water you get a color change so you can see that this bit of paper on the underside of the leaf here, this has turned pink. And that means that there's more water being lost from that leaf surface to the paper. And most people think that water is evaporated from lakes and seas into the atmosphere. That's true, but plants also play a vital role in sort of recycling water. Uh, so there are 14 different experiments um, that are possible to do in the water lab and they look at areas from uh, the hydrological cycle and the, uh, the role of plants in the hydrological cycle and that's all about the um, transpiration and evaporation um, and the whole process and the cycle that's involved with water um, actually going back then to precipitate into the ocean and onto land. We are looking at sort of the wave properties of water and diffraction and also um, circular waves and um, plane waves interference patterns. Well, the Water Lab is, um, you know, for people to take away sort of the idea about, you know, when they're actually sort of drinking water from their tap that they actually just think about, first of all, where it's coming from. And it's like a reminder for people. So looking at sort of the constituents and both the contaminants in different types of water.